hope you are having a great time. You know what happened last evening? I visited a fair where I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I relished some delicious food, had fun on joy rides, and played a lot of games too. There were balloons, music, merry-go-round, and what not. But above all, I witnessed something unique in the fair, which completely took me by surprise. Not just me, even my little friends Nakul and Niharika were amazed to see something so different. Want to know what was it? Come, let's see. Hi, hi. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Wow! Today I am going to have a lot of fun in the fair. Yes, we will enjoy a lot today. Oh, what's that, Niharika? It appears to be something different. Yes, let's go and see. Yes, come on. are so amazing. Yes, they are beautiful. But how are these shadows forming? Come, let's find out. Okay, let's go. Yes, what actually amused Nakul and Niharika in the fair was the shadow story known as Togalu Gombiata. <laughs> both were fascinated to see the shadows and today we will also learn about the shadow story that is Togalu. So basically Togalu Gombeyata is a puppetry art form practiced in Karnataka. In this art form puppets are used to depict scenes from Indian epics. After watching the play Nakul and his friend Niharika you wanted to make shadows. I'm sure you also want to try something like that. So come, let's have fun with the shadows. We can make different animal shadows on the wall with our fingers. Yes, you heard it right. Okay, let me also try some shadows with you. Which one? Mm, okay. I got one. Now suppose I keep my one hand like this, another one like this and I try to adjust my fingers in this way. Let me just try and adjust my thumbs like this, something like this. So tell me. Which shadow is formed? Guess. Yes, yes, you are right. It's a dog. And now, let me try another shadow for you. Okay, so now I'm keeping my one hand like this and another one like this and placing my thumbs in this manner. See what I'm getting and which shadow has been formed. Yes, yes. See, I'm giving you hints. Very good. It's a bird. Now let's try the third one. Pay close attention because it's a tricky one. Okay. So I have placed my right hand like this and my left hand like somewhere like this okay and now what I'm doing with my fingers see and something with my thumb see can you guess which figure is it 
or which shadow is being formed? Tell me. Tell me. Oh my God, you kids are so intelligent. Yes, this is a deer or a swamp deer, which you call in Hindi as Barasinga. Isn't it fun and interesting? In fact, you can also try these shadows at home with your friends. I have another exercise for you. Here are a few questions for you and you have to reply what you have observed. Tell me, have you ever seen your own shadow? Or a shadow of a cow, a dog, a tree or any animal of your choice. Tell me, think about it. I'm sure you have seen these shadows. Now answer this. When do we see a shadow? When there is a light and an object that blocks that light. Yes, there has to be some source of light. Only then we can see the shadows. It can be sunlight, it can be moonlight or even an artificial light. Okay, and now the final question. When does a shadow vanish? The shadow vanishes when it's dark. Yes, in the dark there is no source of light. Hence, the shadows cannot be formed and in the night you cannot see your shadow. So did you find it interesting? You can also ask your friends about it and see if they know the answers or not. I know you are really having fun with the shadows. Now try this exercise at home. You see a lot of objects around you, like the ones you see here. Now what you can do? Put a torchlight on these objects. Observe the shapes of their shadows. What do you find out? Tell me, will the size of shadows change on changing the position of the torch? And the answer is, tell me, tell me. The answer is yes. Next question. At what time of the day is your shadow longest? Well, Shadows are longest in the early morning and early evening when the sun rays are slanting. Next question. At what time of the day is your shadow shortest? <laughs> Tell me the answer. The shadow is shortest in the noon time when sun rays are exactly on the top. So, it's all about the position of the light which changes the shape of the shadows. And now that you have learned so much about the shadows, you can easily trace the shape of the objects around you like an, a leaf, a matchbox, a sharpener, pencil color, etc. So try this out and see what do you find. To make it even more interesting, you can also draw the shapes you get after tracing. And now that you have figured out how to trace the shapes, you can think of the objects who have exactly the same trace as a bottle cap and as an eraser. So, I can give you one example of each. If I talk about bottle cap, then it resembles bottom of a glass. And if I talk about eraser, tell me what it resembles. I'm talking about the shape. Well, it can be a matchbox. I know you can do it. So try it at home and share the same with your friends. After having fun with the shadows, it's now time to play hide and seek which you also often play with your friends and call it chupan chupai. But here, 
who is playing hide and seek? That's the big question. It's the circle and the rectangle. Yes, they are playing hide and seek and rectangle is hiding from the circle. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where should I hide? Oh, shoebox. I look like the face of the shoebox. I will hide behind it. I am coming. I am coming. Where are you? Mm, are you behind the photo frame? Mm, where are you? Are you behind the TV? Yay! Yay! I caught you! You are behind the shoebox! Okay, fine, fine. I am coming out. It is my turn now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am coming. Mm, mm, where should I hide? While the circle, yes, the circle was still wondering where to hide, where to hide. The doorbell rang. Triangle and square. They came and also joined the game. And they are all playing together now. Hey, they are playing hide and seek. We also want to join the game. Yes, yes. Let's play together. Yay! Now, I have an exercise for you. See, circle can hide in the clock, ball and yes, yes, you have to figure out two more options. Similarly, rectangle can hide in the shoe box, photo frame and where else? Tell me where else? Look for two more options. I'm sure you enjoyed yourself thoroughly. Next time, I will see you again with yet another fun-filled chapter. Till then, happy learning to you all. Bye-bye.